What's up everybody? Hopefully everyone's doing good tonight. Uh, well, it is night where I'm at. I'm um, just at a Love's down the street from my delivery tomorrow morning. I stopped by home, got some packages that came in the mail, and uh, decided I would uh, show them to you guys uh, while we're here. Anyways, apologize for the mess, almost like the usual. As you can see, here's my sink, my iPad, live view, a mess over here. Uh, and then this is actually a fridge that a company sent to me from Amazon. And uh, I just want to say full disclosure, I am not getting paid for this. They just kind of reached out to me and said, hey, would you like a free fridge? All you got to do is make a review, tell us what you think about it. And I was like, hell yeah, why not? You know, I, I want to do it. And I checked out some reviews on it beforehand and it seems like actually a pretty solid product. Uh, it's priced at around like $320. I will link it below. Uh, so you have a link if you do want to purchase it yourself. And then if you are interested, I may reach out to them and see if I can get some discount codes for you, or get for you guys. Uh, with like OT Rookie discount code or something, whatever that they're willing to supply. But yeah, that's basically behind it. I've been using my Isco fridge, as you guys are aware, for quite some time. And it's been doing pretty good. One thing that I've been having issues with it lately is it drops the temperature down substantially over the night when I guess my voltage drops which is a good thing but it also kind of sucks but I don't know what to do about that but anyways enough about a different fridge we're gonna actually review the fridge that they gave us so the review I'm actually gonna do it a head cam kind of point of view unboxing so you guys will get to see exactly what I am seeing as I'm opening it we're gonna check it out all around turn it on see how it works the build quality etc so yeah let's get into it so i'm shooting this in super view so the angles might be looking kind of weird and stuff and whatnot and that's my water jug that i use to fill water to carry water for my sink as you can see you get it in this pretty nice and sturdy box that's the fridge let's turn it around Oh, you see my address and stuff. Change more is the brand. It is a 40 liter. The weight is 15 kilograms. Which I don't know how many pounds that is, but this thing is pretty heavy. So it can run on DC as well as... Uh, so I guess it's only DC power and not AC so you can't use this at your house uh, unlike the other ones which I'm sure you can actually get an adapter if you'd like but if you're gonna get this as a dedicated fridge for your car or truck I don't see why you would have a need to do that as they do cool down very quick anyways but it is kind of heavy I mean it's a fridge so being heavy is actually a good thing you don't want a light one like a Coleman from Walmart with zero insulation and pretty crappy uh, compressor in it. Well, we can't really call Coleman even a fridge. Let's pop this thing open. So this would be my fourth fridge. Well, technically. So first I had like two different Coleman's. I was like, screw that. Went and got uh, Alpi Cool, I think was the brand horrible horrible experience died out zero customer service then i went and got a, a, a cooler to just put ice in and i was like screw it i'm gonna just do it that way and then Iceco reached out to me and sent me their fridge and that one's been doing good so far let's pop this thing open all right so we basically got some double packaging seems like thing is really nicely protected got this nice cover up top we swivel this down maybe too much that should do it and there you have your fridge you basically have like this nylon protective wrap just like all of them do and it's like hard plastic and then there's a latch on this side, just based on 
first impressions. And it is kind of awkward to get out the box. Let me get out the box and then we'll jump into it. All right, so that was kind of awkward to get out the box, but who cares? We're not using the box. We want to see what the fridge is like. So as you can see, let's latch this open. I really like the quality of this latch. latch. It really feels solid so far. And then, so it's basically like hard plastic and this lower section almost feels like metal. This here I think is definitely metal, but I do believe it's all hard plastic. But either way, it feels like a very nice, solid, solid quality overall. So you have your vents right there. Vents on the back, this is your power outlet. So you have a 15 amp fuse. That's really nice how easy it is to access it. And then they have high, medium, and low battery protection. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So this essentially you can set for fridge to go up in temperature if your battery is dying or not, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can set that to low, medium, high, that's pretty cool. We were just talking about that and now this fridge resolved that issue. Uh, but maybe I just need to add a fourth battery after all. Let's see, this side is basically the same, just a vent fan on the back. And then the front, nothing up front. So your latch is right here. Before we look at the latch on the inside, I wanna look at the screen. So you have on, off, eco mode, and then up and down on temperature. Pretty simple stuff, easy enough. All right, now let's check out the inside. And I must say, I am pleasantly surprised. It's a very nice gasket that's around the door. And then on the inside, it's actually really, really nice. It's actually metal around here. It's not just plastic, which will help it cool down much quicker, I would think. And then you can pull out this tray And then you could, I guess, have more room if you want to have more stuff. And then I guess this section here, it says, so I guess this section here will get much cooler than this section. Here it says just refrigerator, here it says freezer, and it even has a light, which is really nice. So here it kind of has temperature recommendations on what you, could, what you would keep for what. I'm gonna put their basket back in and uh, let's pop this thing open and see what it is that we get in our box. Which seems like there's quite a bit of stuff, okay. There's like a Allen key and some look like legs. I believe those are handles they would attach on here. Yeah, they're handles. So you would attach these on here just like so, and these metal pieces would go through. Seems like really nice build quality though. We got a nice cloth to wipe it down. It looks like a user manual, car refrigerator with compressor. Installation, yeah, those are your handles. If you do want to use handles, I don't really have use for those, so we won't be using those. Parts. Okay, just your regular stuff. And then you have your power cord. Let's pull this power cord out and see how this thing does. First start. See now I have a dilemma. I'm gonna have to plug it in over there. Let's plug it in and get back to it. So the power cord seems like really nice quality and it's actually really long. And I was saying if you can listen, 
you hear kind of like a air tight seal which is good news all right let's plug it in I'm not sure if I'm plugging in correctly but it is not going in very smoothly okay there we go and we were This is blinking bunch of LEDs. Okay, there we go. So I would assume that these are Celsius. So I'm gonna put it on zero because that would be freezing, I believe. So I guess green is eco mode and that's max. The thing is pretty quiet. Yeah, I mean, the thing seems like really solid build quality. The size is pretty good. I would prefer a bigger one uh, however I mean if you don't have room in the truck this thing would be great you could put it and the light is really nice it seems pretty quiet uh, I already do have a fridge in the truck I may end up using this instead and see how this does uh, either way as far as durability if I do decide to use it in the truck or even in the car I will keep you guys posted but anyways let me know how you like this review unboxing video and uh, ask any questions in the comments uh, thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and catch you guys on the next one